Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a review on the triple shot, and um, I have it installed in this uh, USA made 19, uh, not 19. I'm sorry, USA made Nuno Bittencourt N4 that I had custom painted at Atomic Guitar Works in Glendale, Arizona. Those guys did a fantastic job uh, swirling it, and then I put in the uh, very cool Seymour Duncan nuclear pink pickups, and I got on eBay a very vintagey uh, neon yellow old school uh, knob. So. Um, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate a couple things. Not so much the guitar today, the triple shots, and we'll go over that in a second. But let's go ahead and hear. So there's the whole taste of the guitar, and what we'll talk about is the triple shot. So the triple shot is basically a $30 device. It's a pickup ring that you install, and anybody can install it as long as the pickup has four conductors. It's very easy and very fast. It has these two little switches right there, and I'm going to show you what they do. So let's first talk about this. This is the neck pickup. On this guitar, I installed <clears throat> both in the bridge and neck, but I will tell you this. I've learned as I've installed a bunch of them in my guitars, the neck is really where you're going to use it. <laughs> you can buy them a set, but to be honest with you, I would stick with the, the neck. Okay, so what does it do? Well, in the switches, when the switches are together, there's two switches and they go like this. When they're together, they are humbucker. Big and warm. And magical. Okay? It makes no noise. So, so you, uh, so you guys know, basically, when you coil split a, a single coil, okay, in other words, when you turn one of the coils off on a pull switch, the 90% of the time, the inner coil is the one that is removed, okay? And uh, that's just how that is. So in this case, if I flip the switch down, so we now have the two switches, one goes this way, we are now a single coil at the inner coil. Back to humbucker. Back to that sweet single coil again. Right? Okay, now, if you want to, uh, that's exactly what I do. I just flip that switch all the time, right? No big deal, right? So I'm playing. Oh, and I want the cool funk. I just go. Like, go to that one. But let's say you want to do the other coil. So you flip the switch. There's two switches. This one this way. And now you're on the outer coil. So what I'll do is give you the comparison. Humbucker. Outer coil. You can see it's pretty much the same. There's, uh, it's hard to tell on a video, but I can tell you right now the outer coil sounds a little bit different, but it's just a minute amount. So that's a cool feature, but there's actually one cooler feature. So you know, single coil has a really kind of amazing kind of spank kind of like that, you know. There's another feature, and it's called out of phase. And out of phase is basically when a humbucker is put out of phase, so it has a very, it loses all of its mids and lows, and it's just real twangy. Ibanez is really the king of these guys uh, on the five-way blade switches. A lot of times, they're not coil splitted, they're ever put out of phase. So, what is that important to? So I'm gonna go ahead and run out of phase right now. This is out of phase. Same kind of sound, right? So let's do this fair. Let's go ahead and go single coil right now. And now let's do the out of phase. Now you may not be able to hear it, it's so subtle. Single coil. Out of phase. It's not as chimey. A little warmer. And so you know, I might actually prefer that most of the time. Just a little warmer sound of a single coil. However, sometimes it's nice to get the true single coil tone. Here's the issue though. I'm going to slap on a distortion box. And what happens is, in the single coil mode, you can hear the 60 second hum. It's very subtle, right? I'll try to make it even louder. I know it's really hard to hear in the video. Okay, ready? There it is. There it's off. That's humbucker. Now, single coil, out of phase. So the out of phase now is noiseless, 
and you have single coil. Which is really nice for some overdrive. Right? So now you get that. Versus, now your single coil. Which I think actually sounds sweeter. But in a louder environment, you'd be listening to that hum, which would drive you crazy. So, this basically pickup ring gives you every option there is on a pickup. Comes in cream and black, and it's like I said, it's like 30 bucks, I think. It's like 50 bucks for two or 30 bucks for one. Um, if you go uh, and look on their website, you can see it's pretty easy to install. Uh, it takes me about 15 minutes to install one. Um, and that's just mostly the time of just getting to it. Um, very easy, very easy uh, fix. I recommend it highly to everyone. I like it a thousand times better than cool, the, the pool tap things, especially since I can do something that I really love to do, which is this. Um, I like a lot of times to be on my humbucker on my bridge, and I just like to flip right into the single coil. So with this option, I can do that because I flip single coil here. There's my humbucker, and there's my there's my neck in the single coil mode. So uh, the options are just uh, endless uh, of what it does. Um, I've actually wired one up so you know for a friend where it uh, basically was it all it did was single coil this way and kill switch this way. And uh, we did that on his Les Paul because a lot of guys get frustrated with the two volumes on Les Paul. So what we did is we installed two of them on his Les Paul to coil split his Les Paul pickups or turn them off. Um, and that was a cool little trick. I mean, I'll have to show you guys how we did that wire up. But um, so basically, that's the uh, the triple shot by Seymour Duncan, and of course the swirly girly in four. So you guys know I actually put this on the forum once in for uh, the new no forum, and everybody told me they hated it. But I I I don't care. I still like it. Uh, to me, it just looks like Steve Vai's guitar, but it's Nuno's guitar, so it's a Stuno or <laughs> a new vibe. I don't know. I don't want to call it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for your time. Know your gear.